All right, Dusty, not what I'm used to seeing you. I don't know about that, that Crimson R on your shirt there, but, but hey, first year rider. Yeah, it's, it's going awesome. It's, it's great, great experience and definitely a great staff, great group of guys. And obviously Nick and I, we've been friends for a while now. So, you know, that's just, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, enjoying that definitely so it's going really well did you and Nick come in in the same class at Kent State we did 2007 so uh, some people probably don't realize we came in the same time I graduated a year later I took that Olympic red shirt in 2012 so whereas that time I spent out in Colorado Nick was finishing up his senior year so who's an All-American first you or Nick uh, Nick was. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Nick, uh, Nick's got it. So, so your life has totally changed. You retired after last year. Um, you coached at Air Force Academy actually last yeah. year. Yeah, I did. So this yeah. isn't your first year coaching, yeah. but how much different is it? What's the transition been like for you? Because Colorado and Philadelphia are two totally different places. Yeah. What's your life been like for the last it's, year? It's Justin? definitely different. Uh, you know, it's been a big change, absolutely. Yeah, I, I loved the mountains. I really enjoyed my time out there. Going through, uh, you know, helping out at the Air Force Academy, that was a great experience to get me started and down this path. Uh, great, great group of guys there. And uh, so, you know, it's just, Coming back to the East Coast, you know, I'm from Cleveland originally, so it's nice that we were able to have this duel tonight uh, in this atmosphere where I'm from, and uh, you know, it's 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 a bit different. I'll tell you what, it's a bit different than Colorado. That's the West, you know. This is the East. Uh, two different, you know, atmospheres. Uh, I'll tell you what, the group of guys here, though, these these guys are working hard every day. They're getting out there. They're they're busting their butts to you know become better. Uh, you know, they're listening to us. They're doing the right things, and you know, I think it's really starting to show. We've recently cracked the top 20. We were ranked 19th now, and uh, you know next week we can see Lock Cave in number 18. So take it to them. But uh, you know it's Edinburgh they, Sunday. Edinburgh Sunday we cannot. Edinburgh they haven't lost a match in the, in the EWL for a while. So you know you just can't look past any of these teams. So it's going to be fun, but it's definitely going to be a challenge. So I know we started out the season, you know, number one, you know, at the top in the EWL, but it's definitely Lock Haven and. Uh, Edinburgh are definitely showing that you know they're right there. You know they're they're competitive and they want it just as bad as we do. But I think we're doing a lot of the right things. We've got a great group of guys, like I said, that are just working hard. You know we like to have fun. We like to mix it up. We get in, and play some dodgeball, and even that is super competitive. So everything we do, we're just having fun and we're competitive. We really want to win as a team. So. NCAA tournament coming to your hometown. Well, Berea is your hometown, but it's 20 minutes away from here. Yeah. yeah right. Absolutely. What do you do for the NCAA tournament? How excited are you? You get to come home for like four or five days. I get man. to come home. It's gonna be a blast. I get to come here, do some wrestling, or watch my guys wrestle, help them become, you know, all Americans. You know, I, I think we have a great group of guys. We can definitely bring a, a serious show. Uh, to this tournament, but it's gonna be fun that it's at Cleveland State. Absolutely. You know, it's gonna be close to home. Yeah, I'll be quick quick and loans. You yeah. know the Mac is actually the host not Cleveland State. Did you know that? No, I didn't The Mac that. is actually the host, right? You yeah. four time Mac champion. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So last thing. Talk about transition from athlete to coach. What's that been like for you? Uh you know it's definitely different. When I was in Colorado, Coach Slay always told me you know, you, you know, he told all of us, you can become a better wrestler just by coaching. And I, I think that was true. I think, you know, it really helped me to transition getting into coaching and, and wrestling at the same time. But it's definitely different feeling the nerves are not quite there as much. Yeah, I get nervous watching my guy step out on the mat. It's, you know, it, it can be a little nervous. But being out there on the mat knowing it's just you wrestling, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, I'll tell you what, it's nice to be on this side for once. And uh, it's it's the stress levels are definitely a lot down from what they were as before. So. All right. Mom and Dad are waiting for you. you got a, uh, I'm sure you're going to go eat like a, a steak or some, some type of Viking meal. Do you got anything else for me? Uh, no, man. I, I appreciate what you're doing, though, Zeb. Getting the word out there. We got a, you know, we've got a great team, so everybody just be looking out for us. Absolutely. Thanks for the time. Good luck. We'll see you back in Cleveland. All right, Dusty? Thank you.